Now what we want to do, the body is the easiest part of Sonic to create. Uh, so we're going to start with the body and work our way around the character. Uh, so, set so Shift A, add a, let's add a cylinder actually. So, usually I add a cube, we're not going to do that this time, we're going to add a cylinder. And we're going to give it 12 vertices. We can decrease the radius. And we can decrease the depth. Just want to make it so. Now we hit Tab, G, and Z, and bring it in, up to about there. <clears throat> so Tab brings us in the edit mode. You can also change your mode by hitting Control Tab. Uh, so right now we're in edit mode. So I'm hitting S and Z to scale it on the Z axis. G and Z to bring it up on the Z axis, and I just want to hit S in general to scale it down. So, you want to make sure that you get everything correct in uh, both the front and side view. Uh, so, first thing you want to do is get rid of these holes here, faces. You want to delete those, right? And we actually, for the top, you notice Sonic doesn't necessarily have a neck, so. Uh, let me go back. So uh, I hit two in this case edge mode, and then I hit the letter F to make a face. So I right click select this edge. Once you've made a face like this, it's actually easier to continue making faces. So if I want to just make a face, I don't have to go here and select these two. I can just select this and hit F. That should be. That usually it's t turned on automatically with Blender. Uh, but if it's not, uh, go to preferences, uh, add-ons, let's uncheck that, and tech uh, mesh tools, I believe, F2. You want to make sure mesh F2 is checked, all right? So, F, F, there we go. So we filled that up. You want to do the same thing for the bottom. Make sure that that's the center. To make an edge down here, you hit Control and R, and that'll place the edge here. So you left click, and you can move the edge wherever you want. If you right click, you'll just put it back to where it was. But I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna do that, and there it is. So then you hit F twice again, make these faces. There you go. So another thing I want to do is hit Control R again to add one in the center here. A to select everything. And all right, so you actually want to go to uh, vertex, and you want to uh, click smooth vertices. Now I have it set to keyboard shortcut Alt Q. You can right click, uh, go to change keyboard shortcut. In your case, it'll say Add, and then you just hold Alt Q, and there you go. You have your keyboard shortcut. So I'm gonna smooth this out, scale it up. Scale it on the z-axis. Bring it up on the z-axis as well. All right. So, what we want to do now is actually delete this half. So, what you want to do is hold Alt, and while you're in face select mode, hold Alt and right-click in the center here, and that'll select all of the edges around this particular mesh. Then you hit X, delete faces. And then you can hover over here and hit L to select all of those and hit X to leave faces. Now, go over here to your modifiers, add modifier, mirror modifier. Turn on clipping. All right. As you can see, the hands are separated from the body, so we'll worry about that later. Or the arms, rather. Uh, we'll worry about the legs. First, so let's bring these down, okay? Let's bring these to the side like so. All right. So, in order to keep the integrity of the shape here, 
what we're going to do is move that inward and you see I'm just reshaping some of the vertices okay what you want to do is then you can grab these two faces hit W and again uh, before you do that what cool well, you, you hit W you want to look for loop tools if you don't have loop tools enabled go to edit preferences uh, if you already have mesh typed in look for loop tools and there you go check that and then you want to make sure you save your preferences I have auto save preferences checked W loop tools circle bam there you go we got a circle scale it down rotate it scale it bring it in there you go okay so now what you want to do is with these faces selected you want to hit E and you'll extrude straight down G to grab you want to hit S to scale G on the Y axis move it on the Y you want to hit one and select all of those SY scale it on the Y move it back move this back move this back so what we can do with this is grab it hit G twice to edge slide it and then control B to bevel it uh, so we can add some more edge loops in here and we have more geometry to work with so we can bring this down it doesn't have to be that high up and we can bring this down here like so so this is like his hips right here I guess there we go that would be good like that. Okay. There you go. and you just manipulate the geometry until you get something that uh, you like So, uh, the next thing we want to do, he has two quills back here. And you see they kind of come out diagonally like so. So we want to bring those areas on his back outward. But before we do that, let's hit O, and that'll turn on proportional editing, this thing up here. So let's hit a G and X, and use your mouse wheel to scroll down the strength of proportional editing. And bring it out to about there. There we go. Uh, so his quill is about yay big. So let's bring these two edges down here. Okay. And let's add another edge loop just for integrity's sake. Now. Hmm. There could be a way to nah, I think this is good, yeah. So hit E to extrude, G to grab, R to rotate, S to scale. And we're just doing all three of those operations until we get a nice shape like that. Then we hit control R to add an edge loop in here. We're going to bring it to about here. Like so. We could probably even scale it, scale it up a little bit. Okay. Uh, now back. So what you want to do is you want to hit Z and go to wireframe. You can also do that by hitting shift Z. Now what you want to do is go back to one and select these here. So if you hit A really fast, if you have something selected, it'll select everything and deselect everything. Uh, 
So I'm just going to select these, turn up the proportional editing strength, and bring that over there. There we go. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to control B this. Control B this. <laughs> and bevel it. There you go. Now we can be more exact with the shape. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Sweet. I'm gonna tab in the object mode real quick and hit W shade smooth. We want them to look smooth now. So if you're in object mode, you can select these reference images and hit H to hide them to see what it looks like. Okay. Cool. Uh, so what we're gonna do is save this really quick. Let's go to documents and I'll put this in my personal art and I'll make a new folder called this Sonic the Hedgehog Tutorial and then I'll call this All right, so uh, I'm going to be uh, doing this recording session uh, all in one go. Uh, so um, yeah, so this is the end of the part that you're going to be seeing on YouTube. Uh, in the next part, let me unhide these here. Well, we're going to be making the arms. Uh, the shoes, uh, you know, this character is a pretty simple one, so we're, we're going to be blasting through this guy. Uh, so, I will see you in the next video. Y'all have a good one. Be safe out here. Alright, be safe. Alright, peace out.